Hey guys, Chamber Online here and welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, we are reviewing a Lego City poly bag. And it is set 30567. And it is, well, I call it a jet ski, as many other people might do. But Lego have called it a water scooter. So yeah, as it says there, a uh, water scooter does not float. So yeah, but we're not also reviewing that today, as you can see from the background. Yes, we have radiator springs in the background. So we have McQueen and Sammy there. Luigi and Guido behind the leaning tower of tyres. And cruise mirrors there in uh, Lizzie's curio shop. Just there. So about the massive jolt then. I'll get the put back right. Uh, I'm using a new tripod, as you as you can probably tell. That's still not right. That I have to do right. Yeah, I'm using a new tripod, as you can probably tell. It. I was supposed to put my new camera on this, but I'm still learning how to use that. But anyway, we're going to unbag this. I was about to unbox this and then. Uh, build it on camera and then you can hear my thoughts whilst building it and after I built it. That's not all we're, we're doing today, so I'll just put this to one side, still in shot, just there. And they're not, they're not all staying in this bag. A bag from Smith, which has got a load of Disney Pixar cards in it. The diecast ones. I think there's about six or seven in there so i need to get on with this pretty quick so yes the poly bags uh, i'm not that big a fan of the poly bags but if i get one i will just get one pick it up and then build it but so i'm doing it special for you so this is set 30567 i think this cost me about three pounds fifty out of the tesco because we have a shop called tesco's in here in the uk i think that's where i got it out from Alcohol, Alright, we'll just put that there for now. Ooh, I've just seen a bit of a cobweb on that. Oh well. Right. Of course you're not camera friendly. Oh no, you are camera friendly. So these are your type of instructions. And then we've got them on the back. So we've got 13 steps out of this. 13, they're just putting a radio on and some handcuffs. So yeah, let's get it built. The instructions are going off camera so I can see what I'm doing better. Oh, that's nice. That's all one piece. That is really nice. So yeah, that's all one piece. Uh, right, so we want well, uh, there are her legs because it is a female as by by the hair. And then we want her life jacket because always remember to wear a life jacket when on a water ski or a water scooter. Water ski? No, the jet skis. Not water skis, me. A oh, water skis, yes, because that's a. Uh, Water skiing, that's the one. So here she is. She is a policewoman. As you can see on the back, police. That's focusing really well tonight. And there's her face. She doesn't have one on the back. I'll just pull her hair back off. Cause it, so you can see. So yeah. Right, for now, if I can, uh, she's going to just sit there and watch the build of her new uh, water scooter, or jet ski as I call it. Right, so we need this. We need this. So I should be doing this on camera. I'm just doing these off camera. Uh, and this. Goes in like that. Then that goes on there. Right. Then we need 
Is it that bit? Hang on, guys. Yeah, and then them. Right, I'm going to put them up there in the background for now. You can just about see them in shot, but I can see them perfectly from here. Or from where I'm sat, even. So we need that on the front. That. I tried to do that through the, I was going to say through the viewfinder, but no, through the camera. Uh, then we need this bit to go on here like that. Right, then, okay, I'll see. Then we need this bit. Uh, with this bit, I'll just put it on like that. Then we need this bit. I've done it right for the other version, but or for the other side even. But not for this side. And I need a blue light. Or what will be a blue light even. And that's gonna be part of the thing that holds it together. Sorry, you couldn't see that then. Just put that on there. I need to make need to make sure I'm doing it correctly on camera for the next one. So if that goes on there, I need it there. Yep. Following me so far, good. Need that there. Blue light, which will give you three of. We'll go, we'll go over how many spares there are. Actually, I've built this. Um, when I'm building sets like these, I do usually like to listen to a bit of music, so... So, yeah, but I can't at the moment, cause also, also I'll get a copyright claim. So... Although I could put headphones on, but I, I can't be bothered for now. Let's put headphones on. It's quite a speedy build. Right. Oh, you, you bugger. Yes, that's a printed piece. No stickers. In poly bags. a bit because no. this white bit was supposed to go on here and I've missed it but luckily I've seen that now right now we just need the handlebars to go on and then handcuffs this side and her radio. I always don't like how the radio is looking, Lego. So I'll hand that over there for the speaker. And that clips on there. So yeah, we really had two spares left. That blue bit. And then these handcuffs. So, away with you. Where did they just go? They went there. So... Handcuffs go up there. And she stands on here like, like so, never tells you to twist the hands out. But then the person building it has got to make that decision themselves. Come on, hold your handlebars. Stop showing me up for the ladies and gentlemen watching.
Right, she's finally on her water scooter. Yeah, the reason why it wouldn't float is because it's two separate pieces. Sorry, two separate pieces, but yeah. So yeah, this has been a 10 minute video already, but I'm still going to review the cars in the same video. So, so yeah, that has been set number 30567. I was about to say 30657 then, but set number 30567. And I'm going to put that to one side now, get the instructions out of the way. Here were the instructions number 6 to 13 again. Yes. Try not to put that on my foot. I'll fold this up on camera. Right, and that goes like that. Yeah. That's fine. Then there, just going out of shot for the time being. Then we're going to get our first car, which is Jimmy Cables. Now, he is the racer for uh, Intersection in Cars 3. I don't know if they're in Cars 1 or not, the Intersection racers, but I'm... Well, I should know because I'm a Cars fanatic. I love Disney Cars. But yeah, this is from Cars 3. So yeah, let's get him out of the packaging. Ooh, that was nice to me. Because normally sometimes it, all of this can just come with it. But for some reason that was nice to me this time around. Right. Now of course you come out there. So yeah, there's Jimmy Cables. So he can sit down here for now. Uh, do we have any more singles of them? Now, I'm just gonna get everyone else out. The rest of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. We do have eight to go through. So I better get on with these now then. Doesn't matter what order I do them in now then. As long as I'm doing them, it doesn't matter. So this is the Vuzine Racing Tractor. I was going to do a video on this itself. But when I come to review them, I will. I will just say now uh, that the intersection racer here, uh, razor, intersection racer here, is very nicely detailed. I like the detailing on this. Just put that up there for now. And yeah, I I always think it's uh, the breast cancer logo to do with that heart. I was going to say I'll put a picture up here, but I can't. I don't know how to edit it in on my phone. So yeah. Um that arrow is where the where the pitties well where the forklift guys like Guido uh in a pit stop would come and hoist them up in the middle. So then the guys who were changing the tires could then just uh change tires. But in NASCAR, that's where the jack would go under, so the guys who were changing the tires can change tires. So we'll put, we'll put Jimmy Cables back there, not that far back. Bring him forward a bit. Yeah, using tractor. Well, using racing tractor even. New for 21. It's new for 21. Let's see what the back is like. That, yeah, see that did that. Whereas Jimmy Cable's one didn't. Uh, it did a little bit. I have not the camera. <laughs> I knew that would happen at some stage. Yeah, so this is Jimmy Cable's packaging. That's the Views and Tractors packaging. So, yeah. I've got to remember, I've got a little bit of an arm here. Just off, out of shot. 
So yeah, I've got to remember not to hit that. Okay, that, they do come out, okay. That would do fantastically. So yeah, here's the Vuzine Racing Tractor. Do I have an old tractor up here? Up on the shelves that are in front of you, above everything else from Cars 1. No, it's somewhere else. But yeah, that is really nice. That is really nice, that is. I will do a proper review um, on, on him at a later date. But he's seen Car 3 in the final race when Cruise Mirrors has a sneak through the window moment. But yeah, I've just noticed that. That exhaust is part blue, part grey. Oh well. He can go there. For now. Uh, Dan Garcia. I think this is meant to be for Dan Garcia. But yeah, and he's part of the Next Gen Piston Cup Racers series. Right, Dan Garcia. Why are they being so nice to me t today? What is this about? I would have bought these a while ago. And I'm just getting around to review them now. Yeah, there's Dan Garcia. He's the gaskets racer, number 80. Again, I will get the uh, old gen uh, gasket racer out because I've got the car three version of the gaskets racer that's the same stock as McQueen, not this new gen. So if I can, these are dusty. I need to dust them once more in a while. I know Ramon can sit in there because, yes, I have a Ramon. I just spoiled that, so we'll do him next. He's the Sal Saludos Amigos Ramon. I think he's a Mexican Ramon by the sound of that. Uh, and he's also new for 21, well, for 2021 even. So if you, if you get this in 2022, not new. Ah, right, now I can show you what usually happens to me when this happens, or when these do this. Usually that bit comes with it and a bit from the top comes with it. So I just have to tear these off. Put them with the back. Get Ramon out. And throw that to the side. Well not throw it to the side, place it to the side. So yeah, here's the Salados Amigos Ramon. I really like that. Oil Pan America Rally Mexico. I thought it was a Mexican Ramon, and he was a little bit. That's why he's the Saludos Amigos Ramon. Because they say Saludos in Mexico, apparently, and Amigos in uh, America, according to those flags there, according to that on his bonnet. So I will do a proper review of him with all the other versions of Ramon at a later date. But for now, he can just sit in there. Oh, yeah, the reason why he has the 51 on the hood is because Cruz Ramirez is number 51. And he was painted like that for the end of the film when she got revealed as being number 51. All right, the 123 racer, uh, Jonas Carvez. I think I have the cars one version of the one two three racer. Okay, why is it the the first three were nice but the last two have been evil? Because that's done that again. Let's see how easy that came off. Ah, that wants come out this time, which it hasn't before. I hate the sound of that. So yeah, here's the no stall racer. I've got the cars one version of the no stall. So I'll, I'll review and compare to that as a later date. Yeah, I, I really like that, especially, oh, Because I've got a light there. It's 
picking up all the shine off his bonnet. Which is really good on the darker red. Well, on the on the brighter red, not the darker red even. But yeah, that is really nice. He's gone behind uh, Dan Garcia. Another one that's new for 2021. M Fast Fon, the Rev and Go Racer. I uh, don't know if I have any other Rev and Go Racers. But stop being evil to me. You know I'm recording a video, don't you, cars? Gonna have to now start putting that on the floor. Yeah, there's M Fast Fon, the Rev and Go Racer, number 73. If I can get an, a stock car version of the, of the Rev and Go Racer, that's a M Fast Fon, I will do. Then we're room for that. Uh, hold on, hang on. Carburetor Deconsistent? Carburetor Deconsistent? I know the first word's carburetor, I just can't work out that second word. If you know what it says, Please put it down in the comments. There you are, you've seen that for long enough, so try and work it out. I'll try and leave him in shot. Uh, on top of Ramones. You can just about see him. Right, now the final one. It's a two pack. Ryan Inside Laney and Eric Barker. Or Baker, Breaker, even. Eric Barker. Oh well, right. Oh, you evil, evil thing. Hang on a moment, guys. I don't know why I'm in this silly mood again today. I shouldn't be sending because sending is banned. Well, not banned in real life, but banned from the channel because I don't want to get a copyright strike. As said previously in this video. Right, they're going there for now. Right, yes, we'll look at the Ryan Saloni first. Uh, he's a very nice car. He's a very nice car. He's the 21 racer for Blinker, which I think are, are a new sponsor for this uh, for this series. Of course, it's for this series. But yeah, for this. Um, well, for Car Three even. That's for this series again. Yeah, right. You go up there as well. You can just about see him. Oh, hello. That's a different texture. See, this is the uh, Sina G racing car, number number five, and this is Eric Breaker. You can see it on the camera a little bit. It's like a scaly texture. That is really weird. And it's mostly on the dark green bits as well. That is really weird. I wonder why they did they did that then. Look at that. Look at that there. That is really weird, but also nice. It's almost like it's it's scaly or bubble wrappy. I wonder if that's a mistake, and I've got a really rare Eric Breaker. If it's not, and I'm talking out my behind, then then yeah. But yeah, that's going to be that for today's episode. Sorry it was a little while coming for the Disney cars, but they're finally on the channel now. 
So we'll get all the new ones in shot again. I'll line all the new ones up. So yeah, from me and the cars, it's goodbye for now, everyone. And we'll see you all next time. Take care now and stay safe out there.